What's up and welcome back to Student Leadership News. I am Emmanuel Hernandez, your host. And first off, I would like to wish good luck to the 8th grade advisories on winning the pizza party for the son of choice. Good luck. Second, I would like to give a shout out to everyone in the school. Shout out. Next up, we have Leia with leadership activities. The calm before the storm. We know not much has happened after club rush and lunch activities. But here comes a month full of events. For now, here are the events we can leak. Elections to vote in your president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer will be this week. All teachers will be sent a link to a Google form where you can vote your preferred candidate. Mr. Gutierrez will open the form on Wednesday, September 29th at the beginning of advisory and will stay open until Thursday, September 30th at the end of advisory. You will be required to log on using your LAUSD account to make sure only vote once. There's not much candidates can promise at the middle school level, but here are short speeches from the presidential candidates. Hi, my name is Melanie Mendoza. I'm an eighth grader and I've been in Yoko for three years. I'm running for student body president. The job of student body president is to plan fun and enjoyable school-wide events and activities. I think I'm qualified to do this job because I'm social, I'm good at planning fun activities, and I'm creative. This is also my second year in leadership and I'm familiar with the work and that's why I think you should vote for me. Hello, Yoka staff and students. My name is Abner Rodriguez. I am in eighth grade and I want to be school president. My hobbies are playing my drums, swimming, and watching anime. Now that you know a little bit about me, let me tell you that I'm going to do great things to this school if I get elected. But it's not all about me. It's about you guys. It's what you guys want. If I get elected, I'll try hard to make your ideas possible and I will give some ideas for new events. Well, I think if we all work together, we could accomplish everything we put our mind to. If we work together, everything is possible. I will appreciate if you guys vote for me. Thank you for giving me your time. And good luck to the other candidates. Thank you. Hello, I am 8th grader Manuel Hernandez, and I am running for student body president here at Yoka. If you vote for me, then I will try to make the school as clean as possible for you. I'll also make every event here at Yoka the best you ever had, as well as make this the best year you ever have here at Yoka, and I will try and make it a nice time here at Yoka, so please vote for me for student body president. There it is, good luck to you all. Sweet smell of Cinnabons and brownies in the morning, whether you wake up late for breakfast or are a pastry monster, bring your money as Yoko Leadership Team Inspirators will be holding a bake sale on Wednesday, September 29th and Thursday, September 30th in the morning. Location will be next to the student store. Team communicators and team navigators have joined forces to bring you a movie night. Due to COVID, seating will be limited to only 60 tickets. First showing will be on Thursday, October 14th. And second showing will be Thursday, September 28th, both at 3.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. in the gym. Tickets are only $3 and are available at the student store. Starting Monday, October 4th, we will be selling snacks like candy, drinks, and possible popcorn to complete the experience. Been meaning to tell someone how much you appreciate them, whether it is a friend or someone you admire. Leadership team drivers got your back. They will be selling candy grams Monday, October 18th and Wednesday, October 20th during lunch. You can choose from a variety of cards to send a personalized note and we'll deliver it during advisory. You can send them just a card for $1 or a card and candy for $2. Add a button to any option for just 50 cents. I can stand here and continue with all the fun events coming up hosted by your student leadership, but Mr. Gutierrez is running out of memory space on his camera. Tune in next time to learn about Spirit Week and our famous Yoko Ween. Back to you, Manuel. Uh, thank you, Leah. Shout out to all of the busy teachers here at Yoka. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you. 
Next we have Melanie with student involvement and club news. Thank you, Ramon Lowe. Summer is officially over, so take out your pumpkin spice lattes and let the pumpkin carving begin as fall has now begun. Don't believe me? Check out this week's weather. We start this week with our highs in the low 70s. Double up on your blankets as the lows will hover around 60 degrees through the week. Make sure to buy your yoga sweater at the student store. We have a 30% chance of rain these coming days. Leadership is picking back up a tradition we started two years ago. To encourage you to participate in activities and club, our vice president and treasurers will design buttons that you can collect. The idea here is the more you the more you take risk, wink wink, to participate, the more buttons you collect. And by the time you culminate in eighth grade, you will have a sash with all the buttons you collected throughout your time here at Yoka. Our club should be in full effect. If you have not already, please join a club that interests you. You can find the list of the clubs available at Yoka on the club bulletin board that is next, next to, to the student store. All club members will receive a button that will act as your pass to go to rooms during school, during lunch, or after school. Thank you to Ms. S. Lee, our Korean teacher at Yoka, who shared with us the art contest she did with her Korean class. All students created an art piece for the Korean American Day Art Contest and posted the entries on the bulletin boards outside her room on the second floor, 2114. She invites all students and staff to come by and vote for a poster that you like. All you need to do is write your name on the poster number you think should win. Voting closes Friday, October 1st. Staff birthdays. Quick flashback to the unexpected performance from Mr. Aguirre who played his trumpet to sing happy birthday to Dr. Lauer. Thank you to Alexis Masariegos who sent us footage. Happy birthday to Ms. Kaplan, September 27th. Now we have student birthdays. Happy birthday to the following students. Happy birthday to you all on behalf of leadership. Back to you, Manuel. Thank you, Melanie. And shout out to our new nurse, Ms. Caroline Lee. Thank you for the work you do. We appreciate you so much here at Yoka, and we hope that you have a nice time here at Yoka. Thank you. Up next, we have Miley, who was recommended to us by Melanie to fill in for one of our student news reporter. Thank you, Emmanuel. Our librarian, Ms. Quintero, would like us to let you know of this awesome opportunity. There will be second annual Dia de los Muertos art competition. To enter, you must be between the ages of 4 to 18. Your masterpiece can take any shapes as long as it celebrates and honors Dia de los Huertos traditions. Select artwork will be displayed at the tournament house and winners will be recognized at an outdoor reception. Winners in three age categories will receive cash prizes. Submissions due by noon on Friday, October 8th. By now, everyone should already have gotten their grades. Remember, this is your first progress report. This is not your permanent grade for the class, so don't throw in the towel just yet. You have so much time to change your habits before the next progress report in October that lead to our final report card in December. If your parents are in agreement, remember that vaccinations are available for students 12 years of age and older. Thank you to those students who came out to get their first dose of the vaccine last week on Friday. September 24th, the second dose will be given in, on Friday, October 15th in the NPR. Yoka has been fortunate to be able to get weekly COVID testing every Friday. Next one will be October 1st in the gym. If you did not attend picture day a couple weeks ago, here is your last chance. Pick up picture day will be Friday, October 8th in the NPR. Remember that this picture will be for your ID and yearbook picture. Expectations are full effect. Uniforms. All students should be in khaki pants and white polo shirt. Any student who is out of uniform will be sent to Mr. Galvan for a loaner. Students who are repeatedly out of uniform will be given lunch reflection. We understand that there are special circumstances, so please communicate with Mr. Galvan to see how he can best support you. Any non-yoka sweaters must be put in your backpack throughout the day. Cell phones are important to communicate with your parents. However, during the school hours, your phone should be in your backpack. Any cell phone seen will be taken away by any teacher for the remainder of the day. As student leadership works to create a positive and caring environment for you, we ask that you help us out. Your behavior in the school makes a huge difference. There are many eyes looking at you and you have no idea the impact you have in the community. If you witness or feel like you are being bullied, please let an adult know. Many times when a person is bullied, it can be a sign that they are going through something. 
We want to make sure everyone on this campus, bully or victim, gets the support that they need to be the best version of themselves. Well, that's all for me. Back to you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Miley. And that's all for, for us here at the Student Leadership News Studio. And I would like to tell everyone good luck and to have a very wonderful day and to be nice, I guess. Yeah, be nice. Cinnabons and brownies in the morning. Up next, we have Melanie with... Uh, it's the more you take risk, wink, to participate. I can't wink. This now your... This is not... This is not your permanent grade for the class. Happy birthday to you all. And happy birthday to you all. To you all. You can choose... You can choose from a barrette. Any cell phone scene will be cons cons any any cell phone any cell phone scene will be cons <laughs> Up next we have Miley Cyrus. Even better, even better, even better. Any cell phone scene will be cons <laughs> Up next we have Would you shush? 